What is up everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue. And what I'm be doing in this video is we are going to be making some stuffed acorn squash. Now, hopefully this serves as more of an inspiration than an actual recipe because this is one of those things that I do when I'm just trying to go through things in the refrigerator that need to go. With that being said, come on in and take a look at the ingredients I'm using. These are the ingredients that I'm going to be using for these stuffed acorn squash. I am going to have a recipe in the description below, but that recipe is probably going to yield more than uh, what we're going to need for these two acorn squash. So anyway, here's our ingredients. We have two acorn squash. I have some Jimmy Dean sage sausage, some black pepper, dried rosemary, oregano, now I'm using the powder. It'd be great if you use the fresh. I have thyme, parsley, any kind of a stuffing mix that you want or you can use your own bread. Cornbread would be excellent for this. We have some portobello mushrooms that are chopped, celery that's chopped, onions that's chopped, one apple that's chopped. Like I said, we have the two acorn squash and then I have some chicken stock. Now this chicken stock has quite a bit of butter still left in it. I haven't strained any of that fat out. I think that's gonna be a great addition to this. So what I'm gonna do, cut these acorn squash in half, and then we're gonna get ready to get on with the rest of it. So I have my acorn squash cut lengthwise, and I've scooped out the seeds that are in there. This is about to go in the oven at 400 degrees for about 30 minutes. In the meantime, we're gonna start cooking up some of this sausage. Now that we have our sausage cooked, really all that we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and add all the rest of our ingredients. And we're going to cook all of this until it's softened up. So we got our apples, our onions, go ahead and throw in our mushrooms. Any kind of mushrooms that you like would work. Get our parsley in, our black pepper. Our sage, our thyme, and our rosemary. We're just going to go ahead and mix this up and cook it down till it reduces and gets soft. So our acorn squash just got out of the oven. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scoop a thin layer out of the middle. We're going to add that to our mixture here. And not a lot, just, just a little bit, just enough so we can get a little bit more of this filling in and still have it hold its integrity so it's not falling apart when we stuff it. Okay, so now that we've scooped a little bit of that out, we're just gonna mix this in. We have that mixed in. We're just going to go ahead and go in with our breadcrumbs. And at this point, it's going to be time to kind of eyeball them. Go ahead and add our chicken stock as well. And we're going to stir this in until it becomes the consistency of like what a normal Thanksgiving turkey would look like. And I'm talking about not the cornbread cube uh, stuffing, but more kind of the, I don't know, you know what I'm talking about. You'll see in a minute. So now that this stuffing has got to the consistency I'm looking for, we're just gonna go ahead and stuff our acorn squash. And that's about how much I hollowed out, not a whole lot. And now that we have these stuffed, they're gonna go in the oven. I turned the oven down to 350 degrees and it's gonna go for about another 25, 30 minutes. So that's what it looks like all plated up. Let's get in and see what we think. Oh, 
I am loving all that sage that we have up in there from the sage I added, plus the sage and the sausage. I'm gonna get a little bit of this acorn squash rim on this little bite here. Scoop a little of that out along with the stuffing. Okay. You gotta try this. Now, the two things that's sticking out to me, the sage, boom, it's just like hitting you. If you like sage, you'll love this. And then the second bite I got, I don't think I got any apple in the first one, but the apple is cooked, but it's still a little crispy. Definitely the bomb. If you're cooking stuffing for maybe even another recipe, try them apples, I'm telling you. Nice dimension to it. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. I appreciate it. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.